Welcome to Getting Geeky. I'm your host, Gina Shrek, and we are talking Facebook business names. Hmm, what does that mean? Stay tuned. Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest, bringing tech tips in bite-sized pieces. She's getting geeky, getting goofy, and yeah, getting random. Welcome to Get Okay, so on Facebook, many people on your personal profile, there is an area where it asks for your place of employment. And many people just fill this in without really thinking of where does this go? What is this for? What is it linking to? Well, if you just fill in any name of a company that you're working for, maybe this is your own business. And maybe this business actually has a Facebook page. Well, you want to make sure that you are typing in the Facebook page name so that it will link to your business name. This also helps in this employment area when someone hovers over your name on anywhere in Facebook. If you commented on something and someone hovers over your name with their cursor, there is some text that will pop up. And that text is coming from this area where you put your place of employment. Okay, so this is my Facebook profile page or the new timeline and most people have now converted to the new timeline but you may still have the older version of Facebook's profile either one there is a place in the old version of Facebook I guess I should say older version of Facebook you will see the photo you'll see your photo your profile picture still in this upper left hand side but then your personal information is usually at the top area so it'll have your place of employment, you where you went to school, your birth date, and on the new timeline that information has moved right below your profile picture. Now the mistake many people make, regardless if you work for a company, if you are a stay-at-home mom or dad, or if you are self-employed, the mistake many people make is under the place where it gives you the opportunity to put a place of employment they put words like entrepreneur or stay-at-home mom or self-employed. Well, that is not a place of employment. You want to make sure you take advantage of this real estate here. So it, on your profile page, again, if you're on the old Facebook version, the link to edit your page is in the upper right side. If you are on the new timeline version it's right here where it says about you're gonna click on about and the first area here is work and education you want to edit this and many people have put their place of employment but it didn't link to a Facebook page so what that does is create this temporary Facebook place that um, be it really can become a duplicate if you really have a Facebook page for your business so in this area I again our business is synapse connecting but the Facebook page that we share all of our content is on the get and geeky page so I had to add that as my place of employment so that they would put a link for people to click on to jump over to that page so I want to edit my place of employment. This is where if you have something there currently that you don't want, just click the X and get rid of it. You can delete that as your employer and re-add it here. So when I start typing in, I'll start typing in Synapse. So you have to type slowly until that box populates. If it does not populate, that means you either do not have a Facebook page created for your business, which would be a good first step, or you may have to go out, refresh your browser, uh, just come up here and click the refresh button, and then come back in here and do this again. Sometimes it, for some reason, Facebook gets a little wonky, and it will not pull up your place of, of business, And even though when you have a, a Facebook page. But let's say that I worked at, oh, I'll just say I worked at the Hyatt. I start typing Hyatt, and it should give me all these options of places to select. 
if you do not select one of these and you create your own, you are creating another Facebook page that will sit dormant. So you don't want to do that. This is really, you want to take the uh, opportunity to link to your Facebook page. Now there's one other thing that you can do. In your place of employment here, I'm going to go back into edit, go into getting geeky. There is a, a little bit of text that will show up when someone hovers over your name, not your business name, but your name. When they hover over your name, what you've written in the position area will show up in your hover text. So for example, I could just put president as my position or title. Well, that's pretty boring. So get creative. Now, Facebook does not allow you to write a whole lot here, so you may have to do some editing, but I have manage your social media marketing at Synapse Connecting so that people will know what we do. So when I type that in there, I save my changes. I'm done editing. I'm going to go back to my profile. When you hover over my name, here's somebody who wrote my name, you'll see the hover text pops up, manage your social media marketing at Synapse Connecting at Getting Geeky Web Show, which shows where I work. You can click on any of these to take you to more information. So hopefully that tip is helpful. Make sure you change that information right away on your profile. It's a great way to cross-pollinate to your other pages. So again, if you have any other questions, you know how to contact me right here. Hopefully this is helpful and I hopefully I don't see people just typing in self-employed as your place of employment. Make sure you're putting your business name in there. And if you don't have a business page, well, that's probably your first step. So until next time, keep getting geeky.